Oh, how are you, mate? Come on in. <laughs> Expecting some trouble, eh, Tom? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm just doing a bit of tidying up, you know yourself. You didn't have to see Tony out there, did you? Didn't see a bit of him. Oh, he's probably out there getting himself lost again. Do you know what? That must be the most useless dog in the country. Mm. Couldn't find his way home with one of them sat nav things tied around his neck, do you know that? <laughs> well, with a bit of luck this time, he'll stay lost. I bet I'll still get run over by a car or something like that. Listen, your bike again, did he? Barking all mm. night he was, I didn't get a wink of sleep. Maybe he heard somebody outside. A burglar, maybe. Burglar, me arse. What self-respecting burglar that stay in this country where nobody has anything left worth robbing? <laughs> no, they've all emigrated with the bricklayers and the carpenters trying to make a decent living for themselves. Mm -hmm. But that little bollocks just likes the sound of his own voice. <laughs> <laughs> just like those politicians up there in the doll. I thought I was going to have a bit of peace when all the kids left. But that notion ended when May brought dopey hole through them doors. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God, Mick. She said she needed a bit of work while I was out at work. God be with them, Dias. Honest to God, Mick, that little poodle is more trouble than any of the kids ever were. And ten times more expensive than you. Now look, each one, two of them a day, they're two euro. That's, what, seven days a week, 28 euro a week. And if the little bastard gets it into his head, they go out and roll around on the muck, it's another 20 euro for the dog room. And if he's sick, oh God forbid, I don't see a point for a month. <laughs> and the little bastard always has something wrong with him, you know that? As much as a little tiny cough out of him, my mate goes running to that vet in Ninchy Car. And that bollocks thinks he's on Harley Street that blows the seat's charging. <laughs> Deadly serious, Mick. If that little funny liquor doesn't do it, I'll have to seriously consider strangling him myself before that swallows up the last few shillings that we have. It makes someone a great wife, Tom. Oh, you hear any more of that muck out of you about making dinner being women's work and we're going to fall out serious, Mick? I let it go the last time because you're new to being unemployed, but let that be an end to it. May has more than enough to be doing in a cleaner job than having to come home cooked dinner as well. Ah, oh, James, we'd be lost without half your Bob, do you know that? And yeah, why don't I cooking, you know? I'm not Jamie Oliver or anything, but that's only because the old van shop around the corner doesn't sell oregano or a natto seeds or fancy stuff like that, you know? But it passes the time better than looking for work, knocking on doors, looking for the work that isn't there. Or worse still, being on one of them poxy force courses, learning how to look for work that isn't there. <laughs> <laughs> Someone should tell them bastards and foster, they're the only ones in the country with the jobs, and men of our age would be better served learning how to cook or use the washing machine. Or better still, how to sew a button onto a fucking trousers. <laughs> Because the way things are going, mate, that's the only work we're likely to get. Do you know what I mean? You'd be better off watching me and learning how to cook my come in. Handy for you when your missus has to go back to work and your redundancy money runs out and you're just like me. Another statistic on the double. We'll be back in work long before that happens, Tom. I've 35 years experience in the motor trade, you know. No, that's exactly what I said. With my skills and experience, I'll be back working within the month. That was three years ago. Oh. <laughs> Things will get better. They have to. I don't think I could hold on to my sanity if I had to stay in the house all day. It's only two months since I got made redundant, and herself has me persecuted already. If she doesn't want this fixed, or that painted, she's moaning about me being under her feet all day. Oh, uh, you'll learn to cope, Mick. I mean, what choice do you have, you know? Do yourself a favour, get yourself something to do. A hobby, maybe. A dog, even! <laughs> but for Jesus' sake, if you get yourself a dog, make sure you get one you can be proud to walk around with. <laughs> An Alsatian or a Doverman. A man's dog, do you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, you go for a walk, will we? You can help me look for the other board in the economy. <laughs>